Well, hello, ladies and gentlemen of YouTube, JW here, and welcome to Well, I'll Be Damned, Jameson Wildlife Park, with 1 hour 10, best time 1 hour 6. We do beat that, I believe. Unlocking the Golden Sea Lion statue. Let's get stuck in. This could potentially be the last timed scenario tutorial, depending on what the next DLC is. So, when you're watching this, the next DLC will probably have been announced, but when I'm recording this, it hasn't, so... And even then, I think and hope that the next DLC is the the Bairds DLC. It's all about aviaries and the flying mecha mechanics and stuff like that. So yeah, absolutely, I don't think a time scenario would be appropriate for that. Bonus, could be wrong. <laughs> Hope you're all well, anyway. The last one and this one take a while to load in, so I have to kill a lot of time talking. Which isn't a problem as a YouTuber, but there we go. <laughs> Thank you for all the comments on the other videos, saying it's very helpful. Um, I found it useful, that's the point of these videos, so I'm really glad that it's hit the mark. Here we are in Jameson Wildlife Park um, with the North America DLC. Very odd map with a lot of water and not a lot of water based creatures. So, we've got to have 12 different habitat species with welfare of 70%, two arctic foxes, a new cougar, yearly profits of 15,000, and an education rating of 3 stars. Pause the game. We're going to get stuck in. You see the speed bit started. Take out two loans, 50,000 and 20,000, and set repayments to max. You're then going to want to move the two water filtrations to cover the little red bits of water uh, that's on the map. I have to move that one back in because I've uh, missed out the moose habitat. There we go. And then the same again over here. Just sort of pop it next to it. That's enough to just clip that. There you go. Put your staff paths in. So behind the prairie dogs over the lake, you're going to want to put in a keeper hut, a staff room, a research station, a transformer, and a path what connects all of those and either side. So you'll be able to see from what's happening in front of you. I'm just connecting it across both sides. Next, the entrance then. You're going to want to delete the original path and widen it as much as possible. Uh, I think anywhere between 6 and 8 is a decent size. I go for 8 just because it's the size what's at the, the end. There you go. Can't fit an 8 in there. So make that an 8 and then just do those as 4s. then connect it up with a 4 to a 6. There you go. And that's that. Then you're going to want to add enrichment for all the animals you already have in the park, which are the prairie dogs, the sea lions, the moose, and the beaver, and the cougar. And the alligators. So we're moving on to the moose now. 
There's a moose loose about the hoose. There's a moose loose about the hoose. I don't even know where that's from. <laughs> it's just something people say, isn't it? So we add our enrichment to all the existing animals. So just doing the alligator here. Some climbing enrichment for the cougar. So you're now going to want to get a cougar of the opposite sex. So if you've got a male cougar, you want a female, a hand female, you want a male. everything out, seeing what room I've got to work with, add enrichment for the beavers. So you're going to want to start constructing some new habitats. So here I create one big habitat and then I'm going to split it up into two, if I remember correctly. They don't need to be this big, I just thought, why not? And do the same from the other side. You just bring it round and it will connect up like so and then you split it. It doesn't have to be down the middle. Oh, move the trees as well. You don't need to get rid of them, just move them. And then I split it into two. Place your staff access around the back. You're going to want uh, American bison as a new animal. And then in here, change the fencing. I think I changed it to concrete. Yeah, and then change the front wall to one-way glass, and this is going to be for our grizzly bears. I was going to raise the, the wall, but there's much point really. Again, staff access around the back, join it up. At this side, create a habitat. This is going to be for three species. So the three species I put in here are the ring-tailed lemurs, the Galapagos tortoise, and the red-ruffed lemur. They all have pretty similar enrichment requirements. They all have pretty similar environment requirements. So there's no reason why in this one instance they can share a habitat. Just looking for grizzlies here.
move your animals in and prepare the habitat for them. So food, shelter, enrichment, uh, water, and you'll need some heaters for this habitat as well. Same for the bison, food, water, shelter, enrichment. And the same for the grizzly. But they'll need coolers, not heaters. There we go, adding the coolers. In this little section here, create another habitat. This is going to be for the Arctic foxes. Same as the grizzlies. Make the front wall one-way glass. coolers, food, water, enrichment, shelter, move your arctic foxes in, then add your education so you need education boards for all the new animals that you've added to the park. Speakers as well, don't forget. Education and donation. We'll get onto donation in just a second. So you can see we've got no power there and it'll be the same for that one. So you just need to add a wind turbine over there somewhere, sort of near the back of the beaver habitat. Set the species of course. Adjust the terrain and the planting as the animal so requires. I do change this path into a guest path. You could probably leave it as a staff path to be fair. Again, arctic foxes, make sure their terrain and planting is appropriate. Set your species. Same here, but the bears haven't arrived yet. Same for the tortoise. Make sure the habitat is suitable for them. So we've got our Arctic foxes ticked off. We're only eight minutes in at that point. So we've got plenty of time left. Set the grizzly bear uh, education. I 
managed to get one lemur of each species apart from the new uh, black and white rough lemur. So add the food, the water and the enrichment for the lemurs. Mainly the climbing enrichment is all that needs adding. A lot of their other enrichment is the same as the tortoise anyway. Add your education boards. Something else just got tipped off. 12 species. So add your donation bins. Add green recycling bins. So near the moose and the prairie dogs you're going to want to add a guest amenities area so food drink information merchandise and toilets as well as atms just add a couple more bins and then opposite it on the side facing the prairie dogs do the same again food drink information merchandise toilets and atms and a couple more bins change your education boards for some strange reason my uh, prairie dogs were hungry so I get stuck a little bit here <laughs> there we go um, place down a new feeding thing for them doesn't really solve the issue but they're fine over at the back here same again food drink merchandise information toilets ATMs That one's just out of the power circle, so just move it in one. Couple of bins. And of course, ATMs. Near your Arctic foxes, add a research centre. Then over at the back, near the cougars and the bison, add two research centers uh, but you need to add a power source to them you can see here I'm starting to get really close to running out of money we do actually go into negatives at some point if I remember correctly um, but it is an issue it just balances itself back out so there's no power there disease is not life threatening So add some power and then add some education boards, conservation boards, sorry not education boards, add some conservation boards and just do it where you see guests the most. Like usually we would put them near the entrance or in a plaza uh, but all the guests seem to be sort of congregating near the prairie dogs so I just put them there and it seems to work. <laughs> 
So vets, you're going to want to hire 12 vets, nine keepers, one mechanic, nine caretakers, and four vendors. That's all the staff you are going to need. And then add a trade center in where you move the water filter from. Those alerts will go away in just a moment. Move the female uh, frog in with the male and then put whatever species you want in the other one. I desire, decide to go for the Brazilian Salmon Pink Tarantula. It's not something I often use because I'm arachnophobic. <laughs> um, added education, of course, integral and donation bin you saw me put there a little earlier on. Research all your species, every single one of them. I've just realized the moose isn't getting researched, but that's fine. Uh, train your vendors. Adjust your ticket price. Place three talk points. Preferably on your new habitats. Set the species and just make sure that the times don't clash. I just remove one of the prairie dogs, the rest of them are all fine, so. <laughs> yearly profit and I'm making minus 5,700 that is the only thing apart from the education which has gone down that needs doing pay off the 20,000 pound loan 20,000 dollars sorry um, I now research the moose It's really at this point, it's just a case of keep your vets researching the animals, keep trading out animals, what mature. It's all about getting that $15,000 profit now. So all the prairie dogs have just matured, trade them out. Keep your vet research going. Pay off the 50,000 loan. And now it really is just a case of waiting for 15,000. Um, and we need to hire three educators. So 12 minutes away from the par time.
Let's just keep collecting vet research. And hire three educators. I'm nearly there with the profit. Trade the moose out. Just waiting for that to tick over to January now. We're very nearly there. Back in normal time now. And we should have gold any second. There we go. Well, there we have it. Thank you very much for watching. That was how to achieve gold in Jameson Wildlife Park. We did it in one hour and two minutes, 31 seconds on easy. This could be the last one. Um, depends on the next DLC. Either way, I will see you all in the new year for some content, whether it's the challenges uh, or whether it's my series where I'll be recreating a real life wildlife park. Don't know when that will be, but it will be some point in 2022. Either way, thank you for joining me this year for all the gold tutorials and I shall see you all next time. Stay safe and I hope you all have a lovely Christmas. Bye bye for now.